Uh, just last week, Advertising Age came out with some very interesting facts for those of you who like numbers. 25% of youth adults use social networking sites. That will change every year. That number is just going to go up. 31% of marketers who use social media said they will spend significantly more on it this year. Again, that's going to increase. 50% of US teens have a profile on one or more social networking sites. That number will also go up. And 78% of marketers see social media as a way to gain a competitive edge. You know, it's not just about, this is another thing that I think that's very important. It's not just about giving people information. It's about giving people credible information. People are overloaded with information. So it's not a matter, you can find information easier now than you ever have been able to find information in the history of the world. People now are having a hard time deciding what information do I listen to? What is credible? Well, does anyone recognize this logo? Are they old enough to recognize this beside me? Okay. Okay. Because I talked to some people, they go, what? Good housekeeping? What are you talking about? Um, a few years ago, if you saw that label on a product, you had a feeling that, okay, I don't know who these people are that do this. You know, for all I know, it's just some marketing campaign. It probably was. But we were conditioned to think if it, had, if it passed the good housekeeping seal, it was okay. There was something good about it. There was Consumer Reports. If it was in Consumer Reports, we could go. This was, this, is, this was a source where we could rely on and get credi credi credible information. Well, now the new source of credibility is something else. It's this. <laughs> that has replaced... Um, Consumer Reports, it's replaced the phone book. It has become the go-to place for people to get information. A couple years ago, actually, year, uh, 2005, I wrote this article for Adweek. I came up with a term that tied into this whole um, shift and wrote an article called Got G Cred. Maybe some of you have heard the term that was popular in the I guess 2004 to 2005, street cred. In, in New York, if you had a product, did you have street cred? Were they talking about it on the street? Came, it came out of um, uh, urban environments, and that was a litmus test about whether or not uh, it was worth paying attention to. Well, what has replaced street cred, I think, is G cred. And this is how G cred is now a term in Wikipedia. So it has become, in two years, it has become part of the internet lingo as a, a litmus test of credibility. And that goes back to having a blog, having a podcast. The more content you put up on the internet, the more you appear when someone Googles your name, your business, your organization, your product, the more credibility you're going to have. 